I'm being impeached. <laughs> it's the greatest presidential harassment of all time, I would know. I'm like the president of harassment. Saturday Night Live is back for its 45th season and wasted no time by diving right back into politics, taking on the latest President Trump issues for its season premiere. Of course, since late night comedy has been covering this hot button issue all week, it came as no surprise that SNL's cold open was going to be dedicated to the recent news of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi beginning a formal impeachment inquiry into alleged corruption by Trump. Alec Baldwin was on deck to reprise his longtime Trump impression, seeking impeachment advice, calling up everyone from Kate McKinnon's Rudy Giuliani. Nobody's gonna find out about our illegal side dealings with the Ukraine. Rudy, where are you right now? I'm on CNN right now. <laughs> to A.D. Bryant's Attorney General William Barr, who suggests Trump needs a patsy to blame things on. Don't worry, I've got the perfect stooge. Hello. Big Mike. I'm Beck Bennett takes on Mike Pence in the sketch. Meanwhile, Alex Moffat and Mikey Day reprise their impressions of Eric and Donald Jr. And Chris Redd playing Trump's new bestie. Kanye, how you been, my man? Baldwin's Trump even calls up his pal Kim Jong-un, played by newest cast member Bowen Yang, in hopes of giving him some sound advice on how to handle a whistleblower. Oh, that's easy. You have a big ocean in your country? Yes. Okay, send whistleblower to the bottom of there. Oh, wow. Elsewhere, Woody Harrelson kicked off hosting duties for this season and dedicated his opening monologue to coming to terms with his new life as a fashionista, saying he used to care about more important things like, say, climate change. But now that I'm a fashionista, all that's forgotten. <laughs> The actor, now super comfortable in a fancy set of silk pajamas, also couldn't resist taking a jab at Melania Trump while pointing fingers at Fox News over immigration coverage. What I just said offended Fox News viewers, I apologize. And if I hurt the one Fox viewer who is also an immigrant, well, I apologize to you, Madam First Lady. As host, Harrelson definitely brought on the laughs, taking on numerous characters throughout the night, including a man that owns the world's biggest Cheeto, a football coach reminiscing his glory days but keeps getting interrupted by his wife, a shaggy-haired apple farm promoter for a local commercial parody, and a Downton Abbey sketch, among others. Still, it was mostly a politics-heavy episode featuring many sketches dedicated to the current administration. One sketch involved Bryant, Harrelson, and Cecily Strong playing political talk show anchors, and Kenan Thompson starring as a pundit that insists nothing will actually come of Trump's impeachment inquiry. Ain't nothing gonna happen. <laughs> the sketch also saw a brief technical glitch when a stagehand was hilariously caught on camera trying to do a quick costume change for Bryant, thinking they had already cut to tape. Mm-hmm. No. He gonna win. <laughs> Bryant and basically everyone else broke character, barely making it through the rest of the segment. I believe that the arc of... No. I believe that the arc of the moral universe is wrong. And yet another impeachment-driven sketch features Democratic candidates doing a town hall meeting about the president's impeachment probe, with Moffat playing Beto O'Rourke, Yang taking on Andrew Yang, Chris Redd playing Cory Booker, new cast member Chloe Fineman playing Marianne Williamson, and Weekend Update host Colin Jost even making a rare sketch appearance playing Pete Buttigieg. But the sketch was a star-studded affair with cameos from Maya Rudolph's crowd-pleasing take on Kamala Harris. I'm also America's cool aunt. <laughs> a fun aunt. I call that a funt. <laughs> to Larry David, always giving his best Bernie Sanders. I'm so excited to be back and to ruin things a second time. <laughs> Kate McKinnon brought back her Elizabeth Warren impression. I hope you guys enjoyed Hot Girl Summer, cause now it's school librarian fall. <laughs> and Harrelson took on current Democratic frontrunner Joe Biden. There's no need to worry anymore. Daddy's here, America. <laughs> Elsewhere in the episode, although there was no mention of recently booted almost cast member Shane Gillis, the premiere did feature many appearances from the newest hires Feynman and Yang, the show's first ever Chinese American cast member. And on the musical front, Billie Eilish literally turned the stage upside down, performing her hits Bad Guy and I Love You to an energetic crowd. All right, for more SNL updates, head over to THR.com. And until next time, for the Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Neha Joy.